We all know sand can get very hot, but if you've ever wondered why, it's because of its high density and low heat capacity. Sand has low specific heat, meaning it needs very little energy from the sun to heat up fast. And because sand is so dense, the high density allows sand to store large amounts of the acquired thermal energy. Well, we stay in the water most of the time, swim, throw the frisbee. Today we forgot the frisbee, so we throw the ball. Saffron and her owner are regulars at the dog beach, and with sand being kind of hard to avoid at the beach, planning your beach trips to avoid the hottest part of the day is the key to keep your feet and your pet's paws safe. We come early in the morning so we don't step on that hot sand. Safi then sits down, doesn't know what to do, so we got to get out before the sand gets too hot. The ocean, on the other hand, has high specific heat and takes a very long time to warm up. That's why there's such a huge contrast between land and water. Berlin Harper, who's here for surf camp, knows hot sand all too well. If you don't have shoes, um, I would just recommend like trying to move as fast as you can or else you get burned. With an air temperature of 80 degrees, sand can feel as hot as 110. And with temperatures in the 90s, sand can feel hotter than 120 degrees. The lighter the sand, the less heat it holds compared to darker sand. So choose your beach wisely. Always remember to wear sunscreen and stay hydrated. Reporting in Juno Beach, I'm meteorologist Brooke Silverang.